Hey, what's up guys, Benny here, and today I wanted to make a quick video showing off um, all of the, the fielding glove models that 44 Pro uh, has to offer. So I have one of each model here, I have a few, um, I have you know a couple multiples in here, but I'm just gonna go very quickly, show you kind of the features of each model, um, some cool little facts about each, and then um, that's kind of it. So the first model I'm gonna be showing you is the Pro 44 model. This is the most popular model we sell because it has the most customization options, has the ability for a one-piece wrist. Um, it, you can put kind of text on any finger, choose every single finger color, is the most customizable option. Um, it has the ability to do gill lacing, a bunch of other um, cool features. And this also comes in the widest range of sizes, all the way from a nine and a half inch trainer up to I think a 14 inch like softball outfield glove. So this is the Pro 44, this is also a Pro 44. I got two of them right here. Um, our most customizable option and also our most popular option. Um, if you don't know what glove to get, if all these gloves are kind of scaring you and after this video you don't kind of have an idea of what glove you want to get, the Pro 44 is going to be the option for you. It'll work great for every position, um, just going to be the glove for you. So next up I have the crown tip model. This one's always a fan favorite because of the awesome crown design on the back. This is an infield model only. It goes from, I believe, 11.25 inches to 12 inch or 12.25 to 12 inches. So it can be used for infielders and pitchers. Um, it's a pretty cool model. A lot of our pro guys like this model on the infield. A lot of third basemen gives them a little bit of extra stability with the, uh, the crown model. And um, yeah, this is it right here. The crown, obviously, one of the fan favorites right here. So now moving on to a little bit more um, specialty model is the Japan Select. This is personally my favorite model. It's the lightest glove we offer, and I think, uh, I mean, I haven't checked recently, but as of a few months ago, it was the lightest available glove you could buy in the Americas, made out of full leather, not made out of synthetics or anything like that. So, super lightweight glove. It's gonna come with the unlaced heel, which is popular um, on Japanese baseball gloves because it allows you to relace the heel later or it adds a little bit of flexibility and remove some of the weight. Um, and it will also have, if on some certain webs, these really cool anchor points at the bottom of the web that are gonna add a little bit of um, rigidity to the web, make it a great, great glove for infielders and outfielders alike. And then in comparison to that, I have a, Japan, uh, a JP11 model here, which is gonna be like, um, this is a glove you'd find in Japan the JP11 is going to be a kind of Japanese style glove that you might find um, more over over here. So it's going to have the laced heel. It's not going to be as wide or as light. It's kind of a Americanized version of the Japan Select. Next up, I have the 574 model. This is going to be a model, a little bit of a deeper pocket available in infield and outfield. Um, it's not going to have the palm overlap that most of our gloves have, which is where the leather folds over onto the palm, from the palm onto the backside. It's not gonna have that. It's not gonna have a uh, mid finger welting either. So it's only gonna have welting on the, the main part of each finger. And it's gonna have a little bit of a deeper pocket. And I always like to use this glove to make really clean designs because obviously the backside's a lot cleaner than um, if you had the overlap and some more welting in between the fingers. Um, I have some batting gloves here. This isn't really a model, I just wanted to say we have custom batting gloves, obviously, if you didn't know. Um, and then last up, one of my other personal favorites, the CV44. It's a closed back model. Um, you can get it with a finger hole. And by the way, usually the finger hole will come standard with lace around it. This is by special request, you can get a pad. Or you can get it very controversially with no finger hole here. So as you can see, no finger hole. Um, I recommend this for pitchers, pitchers only, but it, does, it looks pretty cool on any glove, honestly. This is the tie-dye uh, snakeskin. Um, and so the closed back is going to have a, a medium pocket, medium to deep pocket. Um, you can also get the cool um, kind of six finger web on there. And then obviously the main feature is the finger hole or the lack of the finger hole. So um, down, in the, down in the comments below guys, if you have any questions about any of the models I showed you, um, feel free to drop them down below or just drop ideas for other videos and I'll be happy to make them for you. Maybe a cool 44 compound tour or anything like that. Let me down in the comments below. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.